All right, I've got a new style for Profi OS 4, so this will be added to the library. I'm calling this one Power Surge. So it's kind of an unstable blade. Um, this one's kind of based off of the new Overload Prion um, style that I've been working on. Um, but it's, it's, it's an unstable blade, and what it's supposed to be is, is if the regulation of your, the power in your crystal is not entirely all there. So you're going to get these kind of pulses through it. So instead of it being a jaggedy blade, it's meant to be more of an unstable in that the power level can't be controlled. Um, so it's going to have eight different colors. It's got all the regular capabilities, um, but this is the new style. So you've got, it's kind of, uh, it's not a specific time. It actually has two offset timings for that power run up, and hopefully the camera's picking it up. Um, but there's a power surge running up this blade continuously. Um, and then, just like everything else with fully responsive, this does have the responsive blast. So that blast angle is going to be based on the angle of your blade. It's got responsive clash. Um, and then we do have the responsive lockup. So that lockup section will move as you move your blade. And now with OS4, we do have lightning block. And with lightning block, you can turn your hilt to adjust the intensity level. And if you bring your blade upright, you'll actually focus that lightning towards the center of the blade. And then we've also got now melt, which is meant to be as if you're cutting through an object. And turning your hilt with melt will actually change the temperature from a red to an orange to a yellow to make it look like you're really heating up the material. Um, and then we do have responsive drag, so the size of the drag area will actually change as you turn your hilt. You can reduce it or increase it. Um, and then all of these styles, they do have the new color wheel variation. So you'll, you'll pick your default color, but you can do color change and go through any of the possible colors with this. So once you enter color change, just turn your hilt. will let you fine tune that color. And then once you get to a color you like, you can lock it in. And it'll continue to have that power run up. So this is going to be called Power Surge. Um, it's being added to the library. Um, and then it'll also have all the customizations and enhancements possible. Um, and actually, I do have kind of uh, two enhancements I want to show. So uh, with the OS4 library, one of the big new things is the ability to take these base blades and enhance them even further. So. This is an enhancement on one of the uh, on the power surge style. So, and this is kind of what actually this was the starting point, and then I actually backed it up so that I could make it uh, where you could actually control what happens. So, this uses the new prion um, effects. So, there'll be a prion sound file that actually controls this animation time. Um, so, it's going to be as if the saber's building up power, building up power, and then it's going to unleash it. Um, and then I've added a bunch of other effects to it. And then now this one has the um, sparking emitter. It had a power-up effect. And then this one also has the run-up effect, so that power releases. So again, um, the prion effect is based on the, the length of time your prion wave file plays. So if you have no prion wave file, you actually won't get the animation. Or if you have a very short prion wave file, that animation won't uh, finish out because your ignition will take over. Um, so this is a uh, prion file that Jesse Kirkbride actually made for me. It's 8,000 milliseconds to allow for that full animation. And there was that power up. So those are just enhancements to that new power surge style. And then I've got one more. So this one, when playing around with it, it actually gave me a different idea. So the font doesn't match up to this concept. Um, but uh, for those of you who watch Harry Potter, uh, this one, when I was doing my silver blade and I was playing with enhancements, it ended up looking to me um, like the uh, Expecto Patronum. 
Um, so uh, I'm still using the same font that Jesse gave me, but if you, uh, if you watch it, uh, it actually kind of has a similar flavor to it. And then this one, because of that unstable power surge, it's got that kind of wave action that we had in the films uh, for the Patronum spell. So some of you Harry Potter fans out there, if you got a font to match up with this, this to me would be kind of a, a cool take on the Expecto Patronum. And then it has a cooldown. Um, so just uh, lots more stuff coming uh, for OS4. Um, alpha testing has been going great, but I just wanted to kind of show this. Um, so this is, uh, all three of these were power surge, just with different uh, customizations and enhancements added to them.